welcome back for yet another Halloween video. Today's video is a vampy glam look. For those people that don't want to dress up in costume, basically this one's for you. But in this video, relatively cheap products are being used. I use like my Morph palette, which is like 20 pounds. So it is actually a very doable video and anything I use, you can find in drugstore if I've used a high-end product. So if you are interested in learning how to do this look, make sure you stay tuned because it's about to get going. So we're back again with no makeup on. As you've already seen, today's makeup is gonna be a very dramatic, dark, smoky eye. Halloween glam again. I love these Halloween glams. I think they're so exciting for um, The people that don't want to dress up but still want to get a little bit fun So if this is something you guys like please don't forget to make sure you let me know and tell me that you like it And tell me if you don't like it. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Bye Okay, so we're starting off with the primer So this one is the Wonderland primer, which is amazing And then I'm covering my redness with some anti-redness concealer from soap and glory Then I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation Which has incredible coverage as you can see and to cover those blemishes slightly further, I'm taking the Kat Von D Locket Concealer and just patting that in with my finger. Next up is a L'Oreal Concealer, which I just do rough triangles under my eyes and on my forehead and T-zone, etc. And then I just pat that in with a Beauty Blender from Primark. To set all of that makeup, I'm taking my Makeup Forever Translucent Powder with a huge fluffy brush. Does anyone else ever forget to do their eyebrows? Because nothing stresses me out more than when I've done my skin makeup and then I forget my eyebrows. So I'm taking the Cabral stuff from Benefit and just sharpening those, but 10 out of 10 to the girl on Benefit who showed me this because it's the best product ever. Like, look how sharp they are. And then I'm taking the pencil just to feather those out a bit. To give myself a bit of colour, I'm going to be taking the, the Barry M bronzing. This is just a big bronzer that you can get from Superdrug or Boots. I just give myself a bit more uh, colour, and then I'm taking my Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D and contouring up a bit. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty hi highlight palette. This is amazing. Look how sharp that highlight is, though. So now that my skin makeup's done, I'm going to be moving on to the eyes. So as usual, I'm going to be priming my lids with the Painterly Paint Bot from MAC. And then I'm starting out with the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to start by taking the purple shade just with a big fluffy brush to mark out my crease. And then I'm going to be taking the colour Red Ochre, which is a gorgeous plum ready shade with a smaller fluffier brush. This shade is great for vampy looks because if you're using black, black can sometimes get a bit messy and I find it very difficult to blend. So this colour is going to make it 10 out of 10 to blend back up into your crease throughout that transition colour. And then just using the same brush, I'm going to fluff it out underneath my lash line. And then taking the most pigmented black I've ever used from Morph, I'm just going to use a big smudger brush and fluff that all over my lid um, really lightly, otherwise it will go absolutely everywhere, and then blend that out with a smaller fluffier brush with the red ochre shade still on there. And then taking my smallest smudger brush, I'm going to use all those shades in the same order and just smudge it right the way through my lower lash line. So I want to take this pretty low under so that you get that really smoky vampy look, and the black I'm taking very specifically along my lash line. Next up, I'm taking a lip pencil, I believe from Bobbi Brown, in the shade plum and I'm just going to plop that on my waterline. For my lips I'm using Heartbreaker by Huda Beauty. This is unbelievable. The pigment is incredible and you don't, I find you don't need a lip pencil to mark it out because the applicator is so amazing. And a good tip is if you get it all over the inside of your lips just take your finger and rub it across the inside of your lips to clean it out so you don't get any lipstick on your teeth. And then I'm taking my eyelid lashes. I think these are 128. The band is so flexible, so it's really easy to mold it to your eye shape. Um, so these are my actual favourites at the moment. And then going back into the Huda Beauty highlight palette and taking the gold shade to highlight my, the inner corners of my eyes and underneath my brow bone. And the rumours are true, friends. This is the best mascara out there at the moment. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and it is incredible. So this is the final look. It's super easy, super just smoky, casual, vampy glam, that kind of thing. I know some people quite like this vibe for Halloween instead of the arty, go all out, dress up, gore, scars, you know what I'm talking about. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you let me know if you have so I can show you some more if that's what you want. Um, I really like this, this makeup. It's, it's actually really nice. I want to go out with it. Is it a bit too much for daytime? Probably. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe or follow or anything like that. And if you do like these particular videos, don't forget to comment and let me know so I can do a few more of them for you. If there is anything else in particular you want to see, also let me know. Anyway, I will be back again tomorrow for another Halloween video. Oh, I know, you're getting sick of that sentence. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!